Welcome to Literary Life. So today I have another book box, finally. It feels like the past several I've done have been other boxes, so I'm kind of excited to get back to um, my thing. Um, but not that the others aren't, but this is what it's all about for me is my books. Um, so Apostrophe Book Box, I will put a description below. Um, but I've been subscribing to them for a year now. They come monthly. Um, there's a different genre every month. They will announce the genre ahead of time. So if you're not interested, you can skip. But I recommend stick checking it out because there have been months where I was like, eh, and then I ended up really liking the book. So it's kind of fun to explore. Um, they sent a full-size coffee from local beaneries, and there's Grayson coming to check it out. So it's kind of been cool to get, like, sometimes it's whole beans, sometimes it's ground coffee. Um, so definitely, definitely looking forward to see what's in this month's box. This month's genre is mystery, which I'm a huge, huge, I love mystery and thriller. So I'm really excited about that. You really? Get to it. He's telling me to stop talking and get to it. So when you open up the box, <laughs> that's what you see. And I'm going to stick it over here and let's start to pull it out. So the first thing is the card here. Um, I'm not going to read it, so let's just set that to the side and let's see what we got. So this is definitely what Grayson is smelling. This is um, Southern Mug Coffee, Porch Rocker, Medium Ground Whole Bean, and it smells really good, really good. So I like the fact that sometimes it's whole ground, sometimes, no, it's whole bean. It is a Monday night after work, so you're getting like a very small percentage of my brain that's still working. Um, but sometimes it's ground, sometimes it's whole beans. So I like that variety. And I've discovered a lot of just really yummy coffee makers. This one is from Frank Franklin, Tennessee. And I've not seen them before, so I'm excited to try that. So I'll set that to the side. So on top of the coffee and the book, and the book is a new release, and it is hardcover, usually get like an extra little bonus item. So this is a reusable coffee cup. Reusable, not disposable coffee cup designed for drinking on the go. I've, I've not seen these before. I have not seen these at all before. How cute is that? Like, it's like really small. So <laughs> I'm like one of those. <laughs> like, wait, is this like, it's an espresso. Um, so there's a splash proof lid. SPA free, plug covers the mouthpiece when not in use, hard lid for ease of use and drinking pleasure. Designed for drinking pleasure on the go. I'm just, I'm confused by the size. Six ounces, really? That's six ounces? I drink a lot of coffee. Okay. <laughs> That's, Maybe that's the healthy amount of coffee we're supposed to drink. <laughs> well, you know what? I have coffee cups that are, like, massive for taking coffee on the go, but maybe, like, if I'm almost done and, like, we have to leave and you've got, like, that half mug of coffee left, this will... <laughs> I'll throw it in here. This will be my little to-go, my leftovers for the coffee. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, here's what Grayson smelled. Orange toffee pecan biscotti. I bet this is awesome with the coffee. See that? It is from Sundance Gourmet. And I'm trying to see where. Um, from Northfield, Minnesota. Right there. So that looks really yummy. It'll be fun to try that with the coffee. And then we have... From Blue Spider Books. So Blue Spider Books, I think, is their main company. And they do, I think, like used um, book. They have like a used book subscription or website. And then um, they also make some of their own products like you see here. And then I think they started Apostrophe on the side. So this is, I love Sherlock Holmes. So that's very cool. Elementary. Um, soy Wax Melts. Vanilla plus black currant tea. Mmm, wow, I can really smell, yeah, you can really smell the vanilla. So that is fun. I totally love Sherlock Holmes. All right, I think, which is perfect because the genre is mystery. So I think I'm there. I don't want to spoil it by getting to the book too soon. Okay, let's pull out the book. 
And it is one, oh, I do not know. Mycroft and Sherlock, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Anna Waterhouse. New York Times bestselling author. How cool is this? So it's 1872, a series of gruesome murders in London. Um, Mycroft Holmes, now 26 and a force to be reckoned with. Oh, sorry, I got distracted, but look how pretty this is. That's absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's Zoe. Are you like subbing for Grayson because he's so tired? He went upstairs. He puts himself to bed when he's too tired. Oh my God, you're coming to check things out now too. That's our rescue dog. We've had her, I think two months, three months now. She's doing really good. All right, um, so we were talking about Mycroft Holmes. I don't know if he's a relation to Sherlock Holmes. Obviously, this is part of a series. Um, so he's not interested in the killings. However, his brother, Sherlock, has developed a distasteful fascination for the macabre to the detriment of his studies and to Mycroft's frustration. So there's a ship carrying cargo that belongs to Mycroft's best friend. It runs aground. So he persuades his brother, Sherlock, to serve as a tutor at the orphanage that his friend runs as a charity so that his friend can travel to see what can be salvaged from the boat, okay? Sherlock finds himself at home among the street urchins, but then a boy dies of a suspected drug overdose. He decides to investigate. He follows a trail of strange subterranean symbols, squalid opium dens of London, and then a, there's a meeting with the beautiful Chinese woman that leads Mycroft to the very same mystery, one that forces him to examine the underbelly of the opium trade that is enriching his beloved Britain's coffers. The stakes rise. The brothers find they need one another's assistance and counsel. But a lifetime is, of keeping secrets from each other may have catastrophic consequences. Huh. I have not heard of... Okay. So, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, um, the first author, um, he's the National Basketball Association's all-time leading scorer, okay? I'm, <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. Um, and a New York Times bestselling author. So, he received in 2016 the Presidential Medal of Freedom, USA's highest civilian honor from... President Barack Obama, for what? I'm so confused by this person. This person writes, played basketball, and is in the Hall of Fame, and got a civilian honor from the president, or ex-president. Currently, he's chairman of the Sky Hook Foundation, which gives a shot, kids a shot that can't be blocked. He's a columnist for the Guardian newspaper and a cultural critic for Hollywood Reporter. He's written 15 books. Huh. Oh, okay, so this is the second book in his mystery series, My Croft Homes. All right. Oh, that's right. She did mention this. Um, so they had sent out a message. They did not realize this was the second book in a series, but it is a standalone. You don't need to have read the first book. But knowing how some people feel very strongly about that, um, they wrote to say, you have your choice. You can choose to get the book and get the box without the book or... Um, I forget what they all were now, actually. But they gave you choices, and I opted for the book. I was like, yeah. You know what? If I look at it, and I'm like, yeah, I'd really want to read the first one before I read this. I figured I'll just set it to the side and buy the first one. Okay. So then we have the second author, Anna Waterhouse, professional screenwriter, script consultant. <clears throat> She's consulted for cable miniseries, um, co-produced a feature-length documentary for HBO. Um... Supervising producer, co-writer with the other author, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, on The Shoulders of Giants, which won Best Documentary. Huh. Just currently writing and co-producing. Blah, 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 blah. I'm, just, I'm trying to sum it all up for you. Wow. Okay, interesting. So I have heard of neither of these people. Um, so the book itself is about lots of blank pages at the back. Um, 350 pages, and the font's fairly big. So I'd say this seems to be like it'll be a fairly light, fun, and easy read. Um, and did I show you again how beautiful that inside is? Absolutely love it. So this is fun. And then the last thing <clears throat> in the box, they're what's getting to me, is going to be a card. Oh, there's a couple things I forgot about. Small things. 
Okay, so this card is going to say what next month's genre is. It's urban fantasy. I always think it's intriguing some of the genres they they select. So that is cool. Little This is just a little thing about the company. They always give you a bookmark. My blood type is coffee. And last thing, which I totally use these when we have people over, parties, family gatherings. These are um, coasters, but they're, they're like disposable. So you put them out. And once they get damp, you throw them away. I love it. So anyway, this is just one of my favorite favorite boxes, like I talked about already. And like I said, like this, I had not heard of. Um, and I've really kind of enjoyed that piece of it, getting into a different genre every month and a different book. And it's a new release. So just a fun box. And then the coffee is so good. And then, they, they, like I said, they always they have the few add-on items that have been enjoyable holds getting to me I suppose but anyway definitely thank you for watching if you have any questions about the products or you're also a subscriber to a pasta free um, book box um, share I'd love to talk I'd love to talk to people about my boxes and the books and um, if you have questions though well, keep your eye out I'll have a review up for the books I read here and I think I'm going to read that one in February because I've already got Jan the rest of this month filled um, so that's going on my January pile. And then, um, yeah, that's it. So happy reading. Happy Monday night. Um, have a good week. And until then.